What's going on, DMG Clan? Today, I'm going to show you how to set up and play Wii U emulation with the DNA Duo and your Steam Deck. Let's level up our gaming knowledge just a tad bit more before the end of 2024. Yet, CMU, we need to navigate to our file browser of choice. I'm going to be using Mozilla Firefox for this. I'm going to type in the search bar, literally just CMU. So hold your Steam Deck button. Open up your keypad and type in CMU and click enter. Close down your keypad however you open it, I guess. That's how I open it. I'm not fluent with the Steam Deck, by the way. I just know how to kind of use it. Now, go to your download at the top. Click download latest version and you'll be presented with the GitHub repository. Go to assets and then download the app image down here. It is downloading right now into our Steam Deck. We can close out of Mozilla. Actually, no, just wait, don't exit. Wait until your download's completed. And then you can exit out of Mozilla. And while it's downloading, you're gonna subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and you're gonna pick yourself up the DNA Duo. Now, this is just a prototype still. It's a working prototype, but the material that's gonna be printed with is gonna be completely different. But this is the final iteration of the design and it works really flipping well. Even my buddy thought the thing was freaking cool the other day. He saw it for the first time too. And yeah, he's been wanting to see it. He's the one who actually kind of pushed me to design the DNA Duo the way that it is today. Now, that being said, now that we have CMU downloaded, let's double click on it. Let's click continue and wait for it to install. Now, here is the main menu. We can use our mouse and keypad if we want to. So we're going to select our actual location my location is going to be my micro sd card which is my deck 2 for my game path now we can actually select this go into our actual emulation folder our roms folder and our wii u folder now i have a whole bunch of folders in here so let's scroll all the way down until we see our wii u folder now this is assuming that you don't have like mu deck or anything installed yet in my roms folder right here and here are my few games now i forgot to delete my system information and my <laughs> my uh actual information in here so actually i'm just going to put my information right on this root of this directory because as you can see i have my updates roms and dlcs in here as well so this is going to be my main folder right here for all of my data and stuff to be stored so my saves and all that kind of stuff are going to be stored right here so click open and now we can click on next click on automatically check for updates i'm going to turn that off and click close. Now we're going to be presented with the location for our games and stuff. Now we didn't actually select all of our games here. Of course, it's going to pick them because we ended up selecting just a generic folder here. So that's where all of my ROMs are and stuff. So I'm going to actually select my folder for my uh, Wii U ROMs and DLCs. So click your DLC folder. And if you have any DLCs in there, select that. And for your updates, do the same thing. So Wii U, updates, and there's my updates for my Mario Kart. Now, this isn't a video to show you how to get your games or set up a Wii U USB loader and or the application on your physical Wii U that will actually dump your CMU games. I'm going to show you the file structure here quickly. So your actual games should be located inside of a folder. I'm going to close this out because it's already open. And I'm going to go into my Wii U folder and show you what your Wii U game should look like when you actually physically dump them properly with the Wii U USB loader. So this is where you should see your folder. So meta content and code inside of each one of your games. So even Wind Waker has the same kind of aspect. So that is basically how it's be set up. And as you can see, CMU set up some folders for us as well for our user data. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here and we're gonna select remember main window choice, remember pad window choice. And if you want to turn on automatically check for updates, you can, I'm not going to. Graphics, I'm gonna leave it at AMD custom GPU with Vulkan and I'm gonna turn this on to triple buffering. I'm gonna put bilinear for upscaling. And for audio, I'm gonna leave that to QBEB, make sure it's set to QBEB and I'm not gonna set on anything else. You can set your account here, so create an account name and stuff like that. So if you wanna open up your keypad, mine's gonna be Mr. D, D, N, A, just like so, Mr. DNA, that's my username for a lot of my stuff. So that's what my account's going to be. 
I spelled it right. Yeah, I did. General, that's it. Now for your gamepad. So make sure you go to options, separate gamepad view. Make sure that's turned on. Make sure you don't exit it because sometimes when you exit it while you're in a game or something, it bugs out the game. Now for your input settings, you're going to want to select your actual controller. So I'm going to change this to gamepad mode. Hopefully that worked. Latest update of my game deck for some reason isn't working properly. I don't know what's going on with it. However, when you go to this drop down, you're going to select gamepad, not pro controller, because if you're going to be using the small, the bottom screen for the gamepad, you're going to select that. For the controller, we're going to press the plus icon and we're going to use the SDL controller and we're going to select that controller as our Steam Deck virtual gamepad. Click add and now it's going to set this all up for us and now we can close that out as well. Now, I'm going to double check something here because I want to make sure that that actually set it and it did. Okay, good. So we set that all up and now we can exit out and yeah, my gamepad mode does not want to work for me. We can navigate into a game. Now, the next thing you're going to do, connect your DNA duo to the magnetic clip. As you can see here, it magnetizes into that and plug it into your USB cable. Now this does have charging pass through, so you can actually charge your device as well. And then you can select your screen, put your one screen at the top, put your other screen at the bottom and want to maximize your screens. I set up a way for my back buttons. And now once you're into a game, you can actually utilize the bottom screen as your Wii U gamepad. Touch the buttons, check the map, all that kind of fun jazz, and even see your screen on the bottom if you wanted to, and just play Mario Kart or any other games like Wind Waker, for example, using the bottom screen and having a good time because I think the Steam Deck actually has its place in the emulation world. It just needs a little bit more power. If it had a little bit more power, I think I would give it a 9 out of 10. Change the button layout. That's all I have to say about that. Enjoy playing Wii U on your Steam Deck using the DNA Duo 2024 and going forward into 2025. It's almost the end of the year. Love you all. Have a nice day. See you next time. Bye-bye.